to mod or not to mod? That is the question. Hey, Kamusta? Topher here of Nice Watch Pare, and I'll share with you my top three Seiko mods. This is the first watch that I modded, the SNKL41. I got this because I wanted to have a watch that I can wear on formal occasions. My inspiration is the GS Snowflake and the Sarb. I just removed the stock handset and replaced with Dauphine hands and blue seconds. As you can see, it's slightly bent. This is where I learned how to remove and install handsets. Up next is my first legit divers, the SKX007. I changed it to a knurled crown with an S logo, swapped out the rubber strap for the comfy paratrooper strap that matches the orange text on the dial. Lastly, changed the hour and minute hands with an urchins to remind me of my first ever Seiko, the SNZ F17, the urchin. Last but not the least, which I feel like my best Seiko mod so far. For this build, my inspiration is the Black Alpinist. I used an SNKK87 case to have the crown at 3 o'clock. Used an oyster style bracelet with polished middle links that matches the brushed case and polished bezel. Now for the awesome dial and workhorse 7S36 movement. It came from an SNZB33. To finish it off, I just used an aftermarket cathedral handset to complete the look. And these are my top 3 Seiko mods that will stay in the collection for a long time. If you love affordable watches, especially Seikos, don't forget to show some love. Rami Salama, thank you for your time.